in New Jersey. There have been more than 40 fires this weekend. The latest pop up the Jennings Creek wildfire. It's burning in Passaic County and has now stretched into New York State. So far, one uh, young man has died as crews work around the clock to contain those fires. Eyewitness News reporter Reagan Medji is live in Hewitt near the fire. Reagan, good morning. Yeah, and Michelle Pedro, we just got the identity of that firefighter killed in the line of duty, 18-year-old Daryl Vasquez. He is part of was part of the New York State Parks and Recreation providing aid for the Jennings Creek fire. Now, he was actually tackling a portion of the fire located in the Sterling Forest. That's part of the Greenwood Lakes area in New York. Um, so our hearts and thoughts are with him at this time. We will have the mayor of Greenwood Lakes joining us later on this morning and we'll talk to him. Um, but again, 18 year old Daryl Vasquez uh, was the a firefighter who was killed in the line of duty while tackling the blaze last night. So uh, to catch you up to speed with this blaze, it started in the West Milford area here in New Jersey and spread into New York. So let's take a look at some video that we have. Uh, it started burning about two o'clock in the afternoon in Passaic County, New Jersey, again near West Milford. As of seven o'clock last night, an alert by the New York Jersey, uh, New Jersey's Forest Fire Service says nearly a dozen homes at that time were being threatened in the state. Then by the evening, that's last night, the wildfire started to spread to Greenwood Lake, a village in Orange County, and that is when the fire turned deadly, killing 18-year-old Daryl Vasquez. Now, the New Jersey Forest Fire Service says this fire at this point is still 0% contained and burned 2,000 acres so far. This fire has been going on on the Jersey side has now spread over to the New York side, but we also have some other pop up fires that we've been dealing with. We're going to continue to work with our first responders to make sure that you are protected. If God forbid you are in a situation where we have to evacuate you, we will let you know. And they will let you know. We were just uh, in an area in this section uh, near Greenwood Lakes where there was a New York wild Fish and Wildlife Services um, representative. Uh, he told me they were driving through the community just monitoring if this fire is spreading. Um, at that point, they would have to evacuate people if the fire got so close. So they're actively, all the crews, the ground crews are out there with their fire trucks monitoring and trying to control this blaze. And then there are the helicopters. There are two helicopters with the New Jersey Forest Fire Service. Uh, we saw them actively dumping water on Friday while we were in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey. Uh, so what they would do is they would take this big bucket and they would scoop the bucket by the helicopter into a body of water. In this case, it would be Greenwood Lakes and then dump about 350 gallons of water from the air down onto the fire. But as Danny Beckstrom has been saying that, hey, listen, we are going to get some rain. So that will help tackle the blaze. But again, this blaze, the Jennings Creek blaze that started here in West Milford and then started spreading into New York, claimed the life of 18 year old Daryl Vasquez, who was with the New York State Parks and Recreation Department. We're live here in West Milford, Reagan Medji, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.